how many letters are there in Stray Kid? Eight. Yeah, I had to make a singular to make sense. But who's gonna check me? <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Lady, and we are here again today for another album of the week. Yeah, today we are going over the brand new album from Stray Kids, newest, not the brand new one, called Eight, and we have six new songs to go over today. We've already gone over Chick Chick Boom, so make sure you go check that out in my weekly K-pop wrap-up from two weeks ago. But, y'all know I love me a Stray Kids album. Every time I go back and listen to it, y'all know noise music is my thing, so I'm really hoping they serve the noise music on a platter, and maybe they don't leave any crumbs as they eat eight. I'm gonna shut up and listen. The first song we're going over today actually has a new music video out called Mountains. I'm so excited for some visuals. Let's get into it. We're going right into it. Okay. Y'all looking good. Yes, y'all looking fine. Hey, Licks. Bagbo never suffering. Come on, rapper. Come on, rapper. <gasps> Is that a little cool pop thing? Oh. Get out the way. I love those pants. Okay, rapper. Okay, hacker, get me in. I like this little like pre-chorus. Mountains, mountains. Sing it out like I'm here for this hairstyle lip gloss Yes <laughs> licks It sounds like it's about to go in again. It sounds like it's about to happen. Okay. Mountains, mountains. I stand up on the mountains. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. I asked for one thing. I asked for noise music, bitch. And if that's not noise music, I don't know. I don't know. We didn't have like no crazy drop or anything like that. We're like, you know, all that stuff. But that was the energy to start off a motherfucking CD. That is what you need to bring to it. And they are still going up and up and up. Every time a new CD comes out, they come with something even more powerful somehow. When are they gonna run out of noises? I don't know. I don't know. But overall, we're starting out with a fucking bang, Cham. Okay? And I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm so excited to see what the rest of this damn album has in store. That was Mountains. We got a video. Are they gonna be putting out more videos? Please, please. Comment down below if they're gonna be putting out more videos. I need to know. Or when they release them. Let me know. Please. <laughs> I know they put out a lot, usually. Okay. The next one we're going over today is one called J Jam. J -J. Is it J Jam or J Jam? Let's find out together. <laughs> I love that little poot sound. Oh, 
The production is insane. The fuck? Not stick together. That's why it's called Jam. I love it so much. I'm already almost tired. Come on, y'all. Come on. Dance break. <laughs> Not Lido. Double time. Y'all. Spread it out. If I start crying for noise music, are y'all going to judge me? Stop. (laughs) I'm not breathing. What the actual fuck? <laughs> yes. This is exactly what I want from a Stray Kids album. I don't give a fuck who said that dubstep and all this noise music and all this crazy noise shit is out. It is in in my heart. I will never abandon you noise music. This shit just fills me up. Just just a quick little thing. Being a producer back in the day, not a successful one. But this is what I always thought I was making. And it never quite sounded anywhere near this. <laughs> oh, I think I almost started crying through a dubstep song. And that's not okay. Because what the fuck you mean, peanut butter jelly time? What the fuck you mean, you know I know Lido? Huh? <laughs> is it that his Felix Navidad moment or something? <laughs> <laughs> we could end it here. I know there's gonna be nothing that could top that. Like, there's nothing that's that is the song for me. And I just know it. They're not gonna have a whole album of that. They're gonna have that one extreme song that's just like production out the asshole, dance break, double time, all this kind of. Uh, I will sh- I will not shut up about this. I will not be silenced. Okay, shut up, Landon. That was so good, y'all. I really, really, really can't explain how I'm ready to go listen to it again. And if we get a video for that, I might actually shit myself. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I hope I didn't scare anybody off. I don't care because I just had like a literal euphoric moment. Let me have it, okay? The next one we're going over today is one called I Like It. And bitch, I liked that. I liked that. Like I said, I know that there's not going to be any that are going to be too crazy, but that <laughs> is all I needed and I can log off for the day. Okay, this is I Like It. Oh. See, we have to keep it tame now. I know, I get it. Stay tuned, yeah.
Okay, alien transmission. Oh, what's up with all these quotes around things? Am I supposed to be looking for those? I guess they're asking. Okay. This one's like fun bubbly. Maybe not as dark, which is okay. They just want to go like this. The contact the aliens with this? <laughs> Absolutely. It may not have been the crazy noise music that I literally almost cried and peed my pants over, but this just keeps up the craziness of stray kids. And I like beg they never lose their sound. <laughs> I'm over here trying to be like, don't, don't lose it. They haven't lost it, bitch. Who am I talking to? They know what they're doing. It's always a production that's so interesting and unique. I always think of songs like Venom that just like, <laughs> You know what I mean? It's visceral. You can feel it. And right there, I really felt like I was channeling an alien spaceship. Being like, ooh, I like it. Like, put that as like a girl group song without the production I'm talking about. Ooh, I like it. Ooh, ooh, I like it. Like, But then put it with that little beat that they put behind it, and it becomes a stray kid's hit. Good job, dudes. I liked it. <laughs> I did. I was a fan of it. Y'all, they are hitting and not missing what? Soever. The next one we're going over today is one called Run Us. She's a runner. She's a track star. And there's no way they're going to be like crazy again. So we're, we're probably just calming it down throughout the album now. Let's see. But it's still production. I'm looking at the city down below me. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just getting shot again. Marvel, maybe. This one is so good too. It makes me want to run. Like if I was an actual runner, I would use this. I would, but I'm not. Let us show the world. Show them, babe. Show them, babe.
<laughs> you can't help but to move to this. Okay. Let me know then. I love how they have that dichotomy of the... <sighs> you know? <sighs> Alright, y'all was running through my heart. Running through my heart and leaving footprints. You left your tracks there. Evidence. Evidence my heart's been stolen. No, that was really good too. It was one of those like double time songs like... <laughs> where you just kind of feel like you're transforming. Maybe morphing into another being type thing. We already had the call with the alien. So this is the song we would listen to when we're actually turning into the alien ourselves. We've accepted the fact we are now extraterrestrial and we're running. And you just feel like levitating, bitch. No Dua Lipa, but I'm levitating. <laughs> I really like that one too. I don't know if anything is gonna touch Jam, which is crazy to me because they literally said peanut butter jelly time in there. And that's something that I would normally never say <laughs> would be my favorite. But we have two more left though. The next one we're going over today is one called Twilight. And if they say any fucking reference about Edward Bella or anything Stephanie Meyer. I might love it even more. Please, please. Where are you, Team Jacob or Team Edward? Okay, anyway. This is Twilight. I'm definitely slowing it down. I knew that. I knew that. They can't get crazy. They already had mountains and Chick Chick Boom and Jam, okay? Okay, little jazzy. This one feels atmospheric. It really feels like I'm in a jazz bar, you know? Where's, where's the Twilight references, though? I thought we were going to be a little cheeky here. Renesme. Kind of feels like I'm skipping. This is a, like a beautiful song. You, Stray Kids makes beautiful songs, don't get me wrong, but it's not every single one where it's like, when I say beautiful too, I mean like soft and sultry and stuff. I want the shit that makes me feel like I'm banging my head against the wall a lot of the times, but these are good reprieves, you know? This is a good moment to take a step back and be like, whew, whew, like we have to breathe after a while. Remember that everybody. It is very important to breathe during a Stray Kids album listen. That is something that we don't talk about enough. But overall, it was cute. It was a fun little bop. I like that they can show off their vocals there a lot too by keeping the rap in there too. Kind of changing it up like we just walked into a jazz bar. Everything was getting a little smoky <coughs> around me. Everybody was drinking their old fashions, you know? And they were just on that stage in their little suits. Their zoot suits. Oh my, I don't know what that is. Let me not say it. Let me look it up, hold on. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. I was just making sure it wasn't anything offensive um but yes the one thing i will say there is one shortcoming with this song where was edward where was bella where was jacob where was renesme 
You had my hopes up. For what? I'm just kidding. It was good. Good job, boys. All right, we have one more left we're going over, and weirdly enough, I feel like I've never really seen this before. The name of this song is Stray Kids by Stray Kids. Usually it's the album title, but you don't usually name a song after yourself, you know? <laughs> but this is what they're going to do on their eight album. They'd be like, yeah, we ate, and we, we named a song after ourselves. That's how confident we are. Mm -hmm. All right, this is Stray Kids, Stray Kids, and we're going to slow it down again. I feel it. Oh, maybe make it like ethereal. A little like double time beat pattern again. Yes, you did. The elevator. That's such a. I kind of love this. It is a little cheesy, but they have a song called Cheese Bitch, so shut up. <laughs> I love all these references. I'm in a service right now. Hands to the ceiling in the elevator. Oh, I shouldn't say those two things together. Just kidding. Sorry. I like how, like, kind of corny this is. kids still gonna rock on the elevator babes never forget your roots is essentially what they're saying that was so cheesy and corny in the best way possible honestly it's a good throwback and reference filled track with all of, a lot of their other songs in there too which it really just makes a heart happy i feel like you don't see that much in music and that was a very very smart move instead of making the last song more of like a we love you sometimes it's okay to congratulate yourself yeah we're straight kids forever and the album's called eight so what better album to make this song for than eight just to show y'all been eating them up the whole time mrs pac-man <laughs> i liked it it was cute it was cheesy but it was cute what the fuck stray kids they i've been waiting all video to say this they ate <laughs> okay last time i do that i promise we started out with mountains we got that video there and it gave us this whole mountain mountain they always got to bring that intensity and it just started at the very very top of the album this time and it's so good we did wane a little bit with the intensity but i think that shows progression it doesn't all need to be crazy crazy chick chick boom we went over already really enjoyed that but let's talk about mother fucking jam okay the thing I love that. It may be one of my favorite Stray Kids songs I've ever heard in my life. I don't think a Stray Kids song has quite ever brought me to tears, almost, like that one did. So, adding that to the top of the playlist, babes. I like it. I did like it. We had a... Runners, once again. 
kind of just running. Maybe if I was a runner one day, I'd put that on. But it was a good song. Twilight, I'm a little upset about it. I am. I am. I did like the jazzy feel, the ethereal vibe. But I thought it was going to be like, so what would you choose? A vampire or a werewolf? Maybe you can have them both. Maybe you can have a baby with one of them and she looks kind of weird. You know, like we could have took it in so many directions. But I give it to him. And the Stray Kids, Stray Kids is one of the, the craziest things I've seen. With the cheesy factor in it, it was really good though as far as if you get the references you can get the references so overall an eight out of eight <laughs> i did it i lied to y'all i did it again i hope that y'all enjoyed this album of the week make sure you head over to patreon where you could submit albums for the poll and then you get to vote on what to listen to every week this is in your hands and you could support me that's really sweet of you so sweet if not make sure you at least click subscribe and like down below one day i'm gonna get that plaque one day i'm gonna get that hundred thousand plaque okay i got to <laughs> you, you can you can help all I ask for is a little tap. Just one little tap. <laughs> With that being said, make sure you go down below in the comments and also comment down which one is your favorite from here. I think it's obvious which one is mine, but I need to know yours. And remember, I love you. I'll be back soon, but until then, peace. I'd love to know them by name. So.